do you see Tesla's full self-driving as still for a time to come requiring supervision of the, the human being? So its capabilities are powerful enough to drive, but nevertheless requires a human to still be supervising just like a safety driver is in a other fully autonomous vehicles. I think it'll, it'll require detecting hands on wheel for at least uh, six months or something like that from here. Really, it's a question of like, from a regulatory standpoint, uh, what, how much safer than a person does autopilot need to be for it to, to be okay to not monitor the car? You know, and and this is a, a debate that one can have, and, and then, if you, but you need you need a, a, a large sample, a large amount of data, um, so that you can prove with high confidence, statistically speaking, that the car is dramatically safer than a person, um, and that adding in the person monitoring does not materially affect the safety. So it might need to be like two or three hundred percent safer than a person. And how do you prove that? Incidents per mile. 